Hi, welcome to another edition of the AlterEgos.com training tutorial videos. In today's video, we are going to show you how to install the Mac OS X Snow Leopard operating system into VMware Workstation. There are going to be a few things that you need to get started. First, obviously, you're going to need VMware Workstation. Second, you're going to need the Mac OS X Snow Leopard installation media, DVDs, CDs, DMGs, whichever you get, you will need to make an ISO out of it. This video is not going to go through and show you how to do that because there's plenty of uh, examples on the internet that you can find if you do a, a Google search or a Yahoo search, whichever your favorite search engine is. Thirdly, you're going to need to download some pre-configured Mac VMX files and you can get those by going out to a website which I've brought up here and it will let you download the snowy underscore VMware underscore files dot TBZ2 files. Once you've got that, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that your hardware will support virtualization technology and 64-bit architecture. Once we've uh, met those prereqs, we can go ahead and start in with a little bit of uh, pre-maintenance, if you will. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the file that we downloaded that I pointed to just a few minutes earlier, the Snowy VMware Files TBZ. This is just a compressed file format. I'm going to use 7-zip and I'm going to extract the files. should create a tar file, which it did. I need to extract from that one as well. So extract here and it's going to create my Snowy underscore VM directory. If I open that, see we've got some directories in here and some files the Darwin underscore snow ISO very important this will be the file that allows us to pre-boot in VMware directory we'll see we've got several VMDKs VMXs important thing to note is we have a dot underscore version of these and we have one without the one without are the ones that we will be working with in particular, what we need to do here for a bit of pre-maintenance is we need to actually go into the Mac OS X Server 10.6 Experimental VMX. We need to open that with Notepad. And the reason we're opening it is from my experience, every time I've done this, I've found that I need to go in and change a setting in here because it will leave my uh, startup of my Apple OS install in a kind of a loop if you will. It won't reboot, it just sits there with a, a, a cyclic uh, counter going on if you will. And the setting that we're looking for is smc.present equals true. And that can be found right here. And what we want to do is we want to change the value from true to false. Once we've changed that value we can set save and we can close this down. Now we can go ahead and minimize that and then what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and open up so let's go ahead and click file open and now what we want to do is we want to get into the download section so for this particular case let's go see users where I've gone sorry the snowy VM Mac OS X we do not want the dot underscore we want the regular one we'll click open now what you can see here with our memory and our processors eh, they're a little low in my opinion so what I would highly recommend here is depending on the hardware available to you let's go ahead and change it for the purposes of the video I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna change it from one gig to two gig so let's just go ahead and get that in there Processors, I want to change the number of processors from 1 to 2. And I'm just going to leave the, uh, let's go ahead and put two processors in here as well. Or two, yeah, two cores per processor. It gives me a little bit here. Now what I need to do, I need to go into my CD DVD. And I want to take and point my Darwin ISO at this. So let's go ahead and do that. Click Browse. Get my Darwin ISO. Click open. Very important. This is the preboot that we will need. Then what we need to go is let's go in here and let's look at our display. And let's go ahead and check box our accelerate, excuse me, accelerate 3D graphics. Now once we've got that taken care of, let's go ahead and click OK. 
and we're ready to go ahead and start up the virtual machine. Um, when we get into powering it up, there will be a quick time where we're going to see some DOS prompts. Let's go ahead and get that started. Once we get to this point, what we need to do is go into the right bottom corner of the VMware window where we see the icon for the CD or the DVD disc, what have you. We need to right click on it and select settings. What we need to do now is we need to make sure we're on the CD DVD input, which it should come up automatically. Select browse. And now what we need to do is we need to browse out to the ISO that we created of the Mac OS X Snow Leopard media. I know that I've got that on my E drive under Snow Leopard. Click the Snow Leopard.ISO. Click up. Oh. One of the things I would recommend is go ahead and select connect it as well. That way we don't have to worry about this. Click OK. And we'll see we've got press start on it up for DVD. So let's go ahead and do that. Loading it up and you see we've now got the Mac window popping up. OK. Now this is just the basic install for the OS X. So I'm just going to walk through that very quickly. Okay, let's continue. Agree. Select the hard drive. Now you can click customize here if you want to to remove some things, speed up the install. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go ahead and click install because this is really just basically at this point we're installing the operating system. And it's going to go through and do the install. It might take a while. Okay, the install went through successfully. Now, unfortunately, I missed this uh, as part of my recording, but uh, what we have here now is it's telling me that the operating system has not been found. That's not a problem. Uh, the reason for that is what happens in the installation at the very end, it will automatically reboot the VM. What has happened here is because we do not have the Darwin underscore snow dot ISO in the uh, CD, it doesn't find the preboot. So what we need to do is let's just go ahead and go in there, shut down the VM. So let me bring this in, shut it down. And close this window out. Let's go ahead and go into the settings where the CD is and let's change that back to the Darwin. Okay, let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine. Get back to our Apple OS. Go through and finish this up. Okay, now what we want to do, once we've got the desktop, we need to take and go in, eh, well, we don't need to. Uh, just going to go ahead and set up the VMware tools. So what we need to do, let's go into the VMware settings. I'm going to go back to the CD DVD, and I just want to hit on the connected. For some reason, it just didn't uh, save this. Click on that. Wait for a couple of minutes, and you'll see that our VMware tools kicked in from the Darwin underscore snow.iso. I double click on this. Install my VMware tools. Just walk through the process here. Hard drive is selected. Go ahead and install. Put in the credentials.
and we have the installation successful message and it will require a restart of the operating system for the tools to take effect so let's go ahead and do that we do have the darwin underscore snow dot iso in the preboot so we shouldn't have a problem and as you can see it adjusted to the full screen by default now the one thing that we do have here and I'll run through this with you very quickly is the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up the sound to have a completely functioning uh, OSX Snow Leopard as you can see up in the top we do not have the speaker icon um, the install for the audio um, drivers was part of the download from the uh, Mediafire website that I pointed out earlier and we need to get that taken care of from a shared folder perspective so let's go ahead and do that. Go in our VM, settings, options, shared folders, always enabled. Let's add a path to it. Go ahead and go downloads, snowy VM. Click next, enable the share. Click OK, and let's just go ahead and... Alright, so now we have the Snowy VM up. We're there. And as you can see, we've got the package tart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and extract those very quickly. Hold on just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a, another look. I refresh this. Going to Snowy VM, when I'll see I've got my expanded out file. So I want to go ahead and double click on the Insonic Audio PCI MPKG file. Brings up the installation. Hard drive selected. Continue. We want to select both. Click continue, install, put in our credentials, go ahead and continue with the installation. Okay, so the installation was successful, requires a restart, so let's go ahead and do that. It should look just like what we had happen with the installation of the VMware install files. Okay, not sure why the operating system isn't found, but again, we've run into this before. We're just going to go in, power, we're going to shut down. And power back on the virtual machine. And as you can see, our speaker icon is now available, and we have a fully functioning OSX Snow Leopard installation in VMware Workstation. The purposes of this was purely for educational benefits, so you can see that the uh, OSX Snow Leopard could be installed in a VM. I hope you found it informative. Thank you, and have a great day.